Hi, it's Herb and Sarah Taylor. We're really glad to be able to be with you today. Uh, this is a day, like many of the days we've experienced in the last uh, couple months, when we feel anxious, we feel uncertain, maybe we feel afraid with uh, this pandemic that we're all going through. And no matter what your age, I'm sure you know and have heard about this pandemic and how important it is for us to keep safe. Uh, both physically and emotionally and spiritually. And there's a number of ways to do that when we're feeling anxious or tired or maybe feeling a sense of being lost. And it's also a time when there are many people who are feeling anxious and frustrated about things not changing as quick as they could, should in our society. Things that uh, we need to do to make our society a better place. And so there's a lot of feelings of frustration and just... Uh, 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 feelings of being lost and the need to come home. Sarah has something that she uh, uses to help her at times like this, and she's going to share a little bit about that. So sometimes I get, if I feel overwhelmed and I can't let go of something and it's just, it's just hurting me or making me really stressed out and overwhelmed, I sometimes just say a little prayer first, and then I sing this song softly and tenderly, and sometimes I find that before I'm even halfway through the song, I can feel my heart rate is going down. I can feel the relaxing. And it doesn't matter that I know all the words. Sometimes just humming it to myself or singing it quietly in my own head, it does all that I need to do. And it always works. And I just want to share it with you. Um, and it goes like this. But you can find your own song. The song I sing is, Softly and tenderly Jesus is calling calling for you and for me see all the portals he's watching and waiting watching oh sinner come home come home come home you who are weary come home silently tenderly jesus is calling calling oh sinner come home Beautiful. Uh, and as Sarah said, whatever way works for you, we hope that you find a way during this time to just give a sense of peace into your heart. And uh, it doesn't matter what your voice is, whether you have a beautiful voice like Sarah or a, a not so beautiful voice like me. Sometimes I just whistle. Um, but no matter what your voice is, you have a voice that should be heard in this time and in all times. And uh, at these times when we're spending a lot of time at home, just remember that you have a home with God no matter what. There's a great passage in the 14th chapter of John when Jesus is talking to his disciples and says, those who love me will keep my word and, and God will love them and, and, and will, God will come to them and, and we will make our home with them. So know that you have a home with God no matter who you are. Uh, this song is a beautiful song that reminds us that softly and gender, tenderly Jesus is calling for each of us to be a part of this great family of God. No matter who we are, no matter what our difference is, no matter what barriers we might think we need to put up to separate us, God breaks down those barriers, breaks down those walls to allow us inside and outside to let go of that anxiety, to let go of that fear, to let go of that tension, and to think of the ways that we can be at home with God and invite others to be at home with God no matter who they are. So this is Herb and Sarah saying uh, have a beautiful day uh, hearing that call of God and knowing that you have a home with God no matter who you are. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.